Welcome back everybody. It is time for another package unboxing. We have got some more Go-Go's to open up. We have more of like a little mystery lot in this one with some superstars. And then we have a nice little classic OG lot. So let's open them up. If you are a fan of Go-Go's new or old, you're gonna wanna subscribe to the channel. We're doing lots of unboxings and package openings, booster packs of all these Go-Go's, all the nostalgia. It's all here on the channel. We've already done many, many videos of unboxing all the different series. So you're gonna wanna check those out and stay tuned for more. Let's go. All right, we are gonna start by looking at some of these OGs I found. A little nice, more themed color lot of one of the color schemes that I am trying to complete. I talked about it recently in a video. Let's get these guys out here. Ooh, a nice little bag of whites and blacks and browns, but I didn't care so much about the browns because I just wanted these couple whites and then there was a whole bunch of the black ones. So let's get them out. There we go. Ooh, yes. I didn't even notice, but I actually got a brown eggy. I didn't even realize he was in this lot. I guess I didn't notice him at all. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You know, just a couple basic brown ones, no big deal. These guys look straight up like Tootsie Rolls, but I kind of like it. Not personally my color of choice to collect. You can see we got one of the things here that actually matches pretty nicely with the OG Classic series. But yeah, I wouldn't collect this color scheme on any given day. It's just not for me. But these ones, I would check out the four fly here in that nice black. Wow, that looks sick. Scoot these over a little bit so we can get that nice shine on there, that nice detail. Very good. Okay, we've got our ET. Very nice. Looking clean. All these look like they're in pretty good shape. Oh, you know, we always got to have things thrown into every lot you get. That's just how it goes. We've got the teacher's pet here, or whatever her name is. I forget that one. That one's just dumb. One of my least favorites from the OG classics. We've got our nice little bow tie. Very sharp. Ooh, we got now a, I want to call this one Baby, but it's not, it's Dummy. Yep, Dummy. That's the one. I always switch up the names, but this is Dummy. Oh, we got, oh, ooh, what's going on here? Oh, man, that's like, what is that? What's up with that? Is that actually coming off, or is that just something stuck on? I don't really have nails, but it's not really coming off, so I'm going to try to have to see if I can maybe pop that off with like a, a knife or something. I don't know. Interesting. All right. We got our nice looking cool dude here. Very sharp. Man, it's so hard to see these black ones, but they look really crisp. We got our sly boy looking clean, looking clean. Did we get any more things? We got vampire here. He looks sweet. Just straight up vampire. I always laugh at that name. You couldn't have come up with anything better. Just vampire. All right. All right. Well, that's good. At least we did get another one of these guys and uh, he doesn't have any markings on it. So. So that's a win. Then we got Angel as our last one in black. Very sharp. Again, not a huge lot, but it was a nice little pickup. And it also came with these couple whites. So this is good, sweetie. And then we've got our little top hat. Yeah, your top hat, right? Froggy top hat, dude. Muppet looking mother fricker. And then we got this guy right here. He's a little, his molding looks like it's gotten a little scraped up. This isn't like scraped from usage, but it just looks like the mold was a little bit not perfect. That's all of them from that lot. So let's get the next one out. And this package, man, this package is just terribly, terribly put together. Like I said, this one's kind of more of like some kind of mystery thing. I don't know. Cause it's like, oh my gosh, the tape on this is atrocious. This is a garbage bag. They wrapped it in a freaking garbage bag. What, who does that? Like this is literally, it wasn't in a box or anything. It came wrapped like this. I just am now realizing this is garbage. That's ridiculous. Go-Go's aren't garbage. Come on. All right. We're just going to rip through it to get to this thing. Wait. Oh, okay. I ripped through the wrong part. Oh my goodness. All right. Here they are. This is more of a mystery thing. There were superstars in here. There's some other figures as well. So we're going to just be taking a gander, seeing what else is in here. Maybe there'll be uh, something unique and interesting. Let's see. All right. Now, when I look for superstars, I always am trying to look for the quality. These didn't seem like they were in too bad of shape. A couple ones that looked a little bit dirty, but it kind of, I don't know. I wanted to rescue them. Like I said, like this one, this one's in good shape. That's a good superstar right there. That one's fine. I love the eye. That green eye is really nice. Some of them, again, they're a little bit, you know, dirtied up, 
around the edges, which is common for these, but I was like, I'm not gonna let these get into worse shape. So let me just snag them really quick. What else we got in here? We got some series four. All right, something that, you know, we can look forward to. We got Sunday coming up here. We're gonna be opening up series four power. Well, this isn't from series four. This is from one of the tins, I believe, right? Or is it series four? I can't remember now, but this guy's definitely series four. We are gonna be opening up on Sunday. So stay tuned for that, subscribe, because you're not gonna wanna miss that. We're gonna be going on a most wanted hunt. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What other gold ones do we have? See, all right, that one's just, yeah, those are tins, right? These are all, these are all just the tins, tin guys. I've got so many of the gold tin dudes, it's ridiculous. So we're just gonna get these out of the way. We got a B-boy tin. He looks a little scuffed on the edge here, not perfect condition. And we got Sato, my boy Sato over here, looking fresh. Oh, yep, you can see the reflection right there of me. Very nice. That's how you know the gold ones are good, if you can see yourself like a mirror. All right, what's our next superstar? See, this one's faded. This one's faded a little bit. Though it's not the absolute worst. It could be completely gone, but it is, you know, faded quite a bit. Those purples I find kind of fade quickly. The blues stay pretty crisp. I, I've noticed that a lot of the blues stay, stay crisp. I don't know if that has to do with like maybe the dyes or something. Let's see, we got this guy too, our little like astronaut looking man. I don't think I have you. Do I have you? You're cool looking though. I think this is uh, a redo from Explorers, I wanna say. Oh, we've got Gargar, -Gar, my boy from series two. Oh man, I love this guy. One of my faves, one of my faves from series two. I love Gargar. -Gar. He's such a great figure. Who else we got here? We got the flaming man himself. Uh, he's all right, he's all right. Uh, series two is cool, just for the jelly sake. I feel like it should just be like series 1.5 and they should just have tacked it on to like the original series one collection or something. Like you didn't complete it until you complete all of these type thing. Maybe just reduce the set size a little bit would be my recommendation because the jellies were much needed and they kind of just, oh, there's another thing. There we go. <laughs> there's always a things, even a mostly modern lot of Go-Go's, you'll still get one of the classic things. That's hilarious. As I was saying though, I think they really skimped on what they could have done with the jellies. They could have made them such a, a more cooler and more rare, unique, collectible find set. They didn't do any most wanted. They didn't do any like variation stuff. They didn't do any lasers or metallics. It was literally just evolutions. Let's reuse the same mold and then just make them into cool jellies. Like legit, these guys are awesome looking jellies. I think they did a great job, but that's, you know, that's all there was. There's our B-Boy evolution and it looks sweet, but like they didn't really, do anything super cool to really make you want to like keep collecting them, I would say, which is unfortunate, which is why, you know, it should have just been like a series 1.5 or something. Who else we got in here? We do have some series one. I'm going to have to check and see if I have some of these guys or not. The list is getting reduced quite a bit, guys. Let me tell you, series one checklist, it's like, I want to say we're close to only missing 70 figures now. It's ridiculous, especially just from getting random lots and stuff. And I haven't even opened up a new box yet. My favorite little Snoopy boy, very sharp. I don't think I'm missing Snoopy at all. Whoa, hey, 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 we got an alien. A little roughed up on the nose, but we got our parrot alien. That must have been from the Things Pack. Oh my gosh, that's funny. All right, they got lucky with a Things Pack, but they only included one in this lot of the things and then just gave us an alien, which is very... Very nice. Oh, there's another tin masterpiece, the Go Go Advanced tin in the green. Another Snoopy looking like that light purple. Least favorite color in series one is this light purple. It doesn't do anything for me. Should have made it like a, I don't know, a crazy hot pink or something. I don't know. Would have been cool, but this guy's fun. I believe he's from series four as well, right? He's a series four guy or a series three. Um, and I get lost with these series three and stuff. What is with my autofocus today? That is crazy. Uh, let's check out that. All right, here we go. We got this dude right here. Very nice. A little sumo man himself. We got our little, oh, my G, my little G. Is this Gar or something? I don't forget your name. Oh, no, no. It's just short for Go Go or something. Go Go Bone or something like that. It's got like a really like simple name and the G definitely stands for his name, but hey, it's a nice little gold from series four. Ooh, we got a little Angiru yellow, which again, the yellows are the ones that kind of will get dirty quickly. So unfortunately that one is a little scuffed up. We've got that kind of your orangish, orangish, a little orangish yellow, orangish, orangish of Sato. Uh, gloves, gloves get messy on him. Gloves get really messy on him. 
but let's check out this one. Simple dude, looks like a teddy bear, no big deal. We've seen you before, for sure. I think I have you already. This guy too, our little Smurf man. Or ninja, see a ninja, he could be a ninja. Oh, another sumo, we had a double of him, that's fine. And we got our little gingerbread man looking dude. He's funny, cute little figure. What's this guy? Ah, yes, another Smurf edition. We gotta love our little Smurfs, the fuzzy Smurfs. Mm, one of my favorite characters out of series four. This is the Superstars version. It is the fuzzy buzzy has a bear. You know how it goes. Our little mushroom man looking good in this teal for Superstars. Again, not too bad a shape, which is why I wanted to kind of just get these out from the pile of whoever's basement they were in. We got Tetris over here, very sharp. Put them away in my nice box so, you know, we can keep these superstars as nice as possible for as long as possible because I think it's an overlooked series and I think one day anybody who has superstars in good condition is going to be pretty lucky and they'll be sought after eventually for sure. I know they're already semi sought after, but not like incredibly so. And it's just really hard to find them in that crisp, clean condition, ending it all off with that nice evolution jelly Oh yeah, the nice purple. Quick little chat, quick little package opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. These guys were cool figures. Good little nice pickup. I've always been on the lookout, but money's been tight, so I haven't been buying nearly as much as uh, I was a few months ago. So gotta wait for that tax time to come in and then maybe maybe we'll start seeing even more of these uh, nice package openings. Let me know in the comments if you guys have been enjoying these. That'd be it. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. Stay tuned on Sunday. We are going to be opening up power series four we've got a whole box of the go-go's from series four i can't wait to get into those packs it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to go on another mission to find some most wanted so join us 12 p.m on sunday don't miss it have a great rest of your week and we will catch you guys in the next video